Happy Friday, Internet. So it's been a while since I've vlogged. Part of that is just getting busy. And the part of that is that I was sick. Part of that is my wife was home most of most days for the last couple months. So it made trying to work around her schedule more difficult because I can't be talking while she's on like a call or something. That's just not going to work out well. But I've been doing drawing. I like made a separate Instagram where I just try to post a drawing every day. Uh, up until last week, I was successful until my dog got violently ill where he would need to go to the bathroom every couple of hours. I was very tired. He's feeling better now, so that's good. But a thought occurred to me in the middle of the night and kept me up that I want to make a documentary about making art, which is weird. Well, it's not weird. There's plenty of documentaries on art making. But it's almost all... I'm trying to think if there's an example of one that's during the process, like the early stages of making work. And there's really not. It's always like the artist like midway through setting up for the exhibition or in retrospective, like here's what I was thinking at the time. And I don't think that's necessarily accurate. There's a project that popped into my mind around July of last year, um, tentatively titled it, uh, tentatively titled the Rainbow Horror Show, and the pre the inspiration was that thinking about like the dystopians of the dystopian world that conservatives and hate mongers view of like, sounds kind of awesome. Like having your gender switchable out of vending machine. You can just be whatever gender you want. Or that you have access to libraries and education and not paranoid about whether you're going to be able to afford the, co the doctor's bill. Yeah, America sucks. So I did like some initial shots for that and I'm, I'm not sure that they should count because I didn't, I hadn't like fully formulate, formulated like what the project would be about. When I had started shooting, it was more how am I feeling, which I'm just going to state right now is a terrible idea of how to create an art project. You really should have some intention before you start making because it forces you to actually like work through problems. Look, his dog. He's a dog. He's only the dog. He's so, he's a little baby dog. He was sick and now he's not. And so you get to appreciate dog face. Hi, Allie. Do you want to get down? There you go. So, <gasps> no. No crying. So it's helpful before you start doing a bunch of art making to actually decide what the intention is. Part of that is it makes it easier for you to like get past ideas that aren't relevant. And part of that is it actually drives the work forward because unlike waking up every day and hoping inspiration strikes you, you have a vague idea of like what you want done. Like, you know what would fulfill the objectives that you've set out for yourself. So for Rainbow Horror Show, objectives are to make 
the documentary film, documenting the entire process, because if I'm anything, it's super meta. I want to create probably a photography series and possibly video related to it, showing the alternate reality that sounds utopian to me and dystopian to people who wish I was dead <laughs> and actively work towards making myself and other members of marginalized communities dead. Ollie, you're fine. I, I kind of want to make music lately, but I'm not sure. Oh. Ollie. Hi. Your dog. I kind of want, I kind of want to make music lately, but I don't think it would be relevant for this particular project. I do think it would be useful to bring in some of my more drawing and illustrative work. Maybe mock up big products, which the only one that I have at the moment is, um, the only idea I have is Ginger Bear. I'm never gonna find another phrase better in the, Eng I'm never gonna create like a better phrase than that and it's kind of depressing to me. Shakespeare invented the word assassin and I get Ginger Bear. That would be really depressing. <laughs> I'm a little scared doing this because of just the scale seems daunting. We're having to make up products. We're having to create sets or illustrate sets. I don't know what, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I know what my goal is and that's, pretty much that's gonna have to drive me forward. So hopefully this doesn't crash and burn. And if it does, oh well, we tried. Yeah, happy Friday. Hopefully see you next week. Unless I like disappear for a month again, two months. Being chronically ill sucks. Being chronically ill and having other things in life, <laughs> other things in life are not sucky. It'd be really depressing not to have anything else in my life. So yeah, we're gonna start making the rainbow horror show. Yay, rainbows, horror, pissing off people. <laughs> Let's have fun. <laughs>